Finally, guys, we have the biggest AIO there is on the market. This is a 420 Arctic liquid freezer to addressable RGB. And boy, I can't wait to test it out on this one. So we're going to pair this one up because it has included upgrade kit for LGA 1700. And we're going to test it out with the Intel Core i9 12900K just to see if well no j not just to see if just to see how well can it lower down the temperature of this one of 12900k because if you remember correctly i used the ekaao 360d rgb and it lowered it down to 92 celsius degrees in extreme environment and i'm quite curious how this one will perform because it has a larger radiator and yeah that's going to be quite interesting but before we go further with testing and everything else let's check it out so we have six years limited warranty addressable rgb fans which look wow as always and i think i stated that on a35 addressable rgb it's just yeah, amazing we have a new thermal uh, thermal paste it has compatibility with asus aura sync rgb fusion msi mystic lights uh, asrock polychrome sync and it's also compatible for the Intel LGA1200 and AMD AM4. Now this version is completely black. I don't think there is a white version or whatever, but yeah. So some specifications that you need to know, fan speeds go from 200 to 1900 RPMs controlled with PWM, which is logical. The dimensions of the fans are 140 times 140 times 27. We have a VRM fan, uh, which is 40 millimeters and goes from 1000 to 3000 RPMs, which is also controlled by PWM. Then we have the pump from 800 to 2000 RPMs, also controlled by PWM. And uh, we have tube length uh, 450 millimeters, which gives you loads of options to place the radiator as you wish. Cold plate is micro skewed thin copper. The outer tube diameter is 12.4 millimeters and the inner one is 6 millimeters. We have all the compatibility that you need. The whole weight is a little above 2 kilos and we have a material from the radiator which is aluminium. We have here liquid freezer 2 Intel LGA 1700 upgrade kit and right here we have the backlight for the 1200 LGA it uses a stock backplate from the AMD motherboard and all the standoff screws uh, plates uh, and locking nuts that you need are right here this is it from this box and let's check this one out now Now, the one thing that I mentioned in all my reviews when concerning the liquid freezer 2, you have fans already attached and the only situation where if you decide not to place it on top, if you decide to place it on front, where the pipes are higher positioned than the pump, which is okay, then you do need to remove the fans and place them on the other side. But, yeah let's check it out this is it guys this is the 420 radiator from arctic this is liquid freezer 2 with three 140 millimeter fans huge radiator and the block that goes on your processor it has quite small i would say well quite small comparing to the radiator size it has quite small uh, base but uh, unfortunately it's not designed for Threadripper I think it would cool that down as well so uh, let's place this baby inside and uh, check out the temperatures on the 12900K now talking about arctic liquid freezer 2 420 as you might have seen i did a uh, build inside the fantex uh, evolve x matte white and i decided to place it here just because the case supports 420 on front on top unfortunately it does not so this brings us to uh, quite a different situation because i had to revert the fans which were already placed on the liquid freezer and place them on front 
this brings us to a situation where the cables are strictly placed and exactly as they should be so you don't have to fiddle around with too much cables you only have two cables sorry two cables running from the cpu block and that's basically it so what's the result here now we have 140 millimeter fans on front we have the block on the 12900k cooling it down and here are the results we have up to 88 celsius degrees uh, in extreme full load so cpu and fpu in aida 64 extreme edition system stability test i even tried uh, going all the way using gpu uh, system memory and disk and that didn't uh, involve too much of the temperatures and the load on the cpu so the cpu was just uh, loaded with uh, cpu and fpu so 88 it did go up and down quite a lot so at one point it went down to 70 so 80 85 but i would say the rough estimate is 87 88 celsius degrees and this cools much better than a custom liquid cooling system that i actually had in this case and uh, i did a time lapse vi video about it but i didn't actually shown any results because it was just a time-lapse video and it was just for the show and some custom parts done here but uh, it's quite amazing that the 420 of course it's a larger radiator but it cools down the 12900k with much much lower noise and that's important uh, as well as the cooling part as well but without a doubt this performs outstanding so to make it shorter and not to extend it too much, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 420 ARGB deserves performance badge, PC Crazy performance badge, just because of the outstanding performance of 12900K, keeping it quite nice cool comparing to the other temperatures, so don't get me wrong, 88 is in my opinion still too high but that's the situation with this chip but it's the lowest point that i achieved comparing it to other aios comparing it to custom liquid cooling system i didn't even try uh, air cooling because well i don't know uh, i think you could guess the temperature but 420 de deserves a performance because it lowers down the noise that you won't get from other AIOs or liquid cooling systems uh, to cool down 12900K. So guys, yeah, this is definitely the best AIO on the market. And uh, we can compare that with the price, with the noise and with the performance outstanding. So you can check out the links below for it, of course, because if your case is compatible for a 420 AIO and you want to cool down your CPU, especially 12900K, you won't have any issues. So check out the links below, go to Arctic DE website and order one if you want. If you want a proper cooling system, this is it, guys. Uh, finally, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. If you like the content that you're seeing here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button and notification bell for future content. Hopefully, I will see you very soon because loads of cool builds are coming. And don't forget to check the other videos as well. See you soon. Bye-bye.